Bum, 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 bum. All right, Astor, let's see what's happening. Time to tell you about the whole lowering everything shenanigans. Are we gonna, like, get the sky back once everything is lowered? Will, will we be able to, like, see the sky again? What's up? I see, so that's why you've come for me. You have my deepest gratitude. <laughs> Now I can offer explanations of what to look out for, the effects of the miasma, and other such issues. Yes, that should be useful to hear when preparing for the descent. What effect has the miasma had, anyway? Have people been getting sick? Some of the children and elderly who were exposed to the miasma became bedridden. People from Yulia City have taken in the most critical, but they can't take in all of them. I'm also worried about our emergency food stores. They were depleted because of the war. How about petitioning the king and emperor? Yes. By the way, when are we leaving? Noel won't be back for a little while yet. Let's rest at the inn. That will also give Aster time to prepare. All right. I'll cover the cost of the inn for you. Please, relax and get some rest. Thanks. We appreciate it. Yo, what if Aster is like the final villain? This just occurred to me because I was what just... What is it? You look serious. I didn't think I'd get thrown into another cutscene, but I was just thinking, like, man, it's so good that, like, Ion and Peony and Aster are all, like, totally on board with helping us and stuff, but what if one of them was evil? I can't see Peony being evil, because Peony is just too amazing, so it has to be Aster. Yeah, I'm worried about the miasma. I doubt he's actually a villain, but I just wanted to say it. All I know is that the miasma is bad for people. That's it. It's not going to kill everybody all of a sudden, is it? Like I said before, it's only bad if you inhale a lot over a long period of time. But if things stay like this, then I think the population will drop 80% by the next generation. That is a very hefty drop! Damn it! Even if we lower the Outer Lands, it won't change a thing! That's why the peace treaty includes an agreement to jointly research the miasma. I know, it's just... Why can't my hyper-resonance disintegrate the miasma? I hate this. I caused all of this, but I can't... Settle down. You said you were going to start with what you can do, right? One person probably can't do much alone, but people can work together. I... We're with you. Yeah. Sorry for talking like that again. It's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Did you like, you know, bring down all the super important people? Noel, welcome back. How did it go? Everyone is safe in Yulia City. I arrived here earlier than I expected, so I went ahead and took Aster as well. My, you must have not been able to get any rest at all. I'm fine. Don't worry. I took naps when I had the chance. Thank you for all your hard work. It is an honor, Phone Master. Well then, I'll be standing by on the Albior. Shall we be going to Yulia City ourselves then? Yeah, it's all finally coming together. I can't wait to see what goes horribly wrong to extend the length of this game. Peace at last! Finally, and into the war. Yes, finally. It's unfortunate that there were casualties, but at least we managed to get this far. Yeah, good job! Now we just have to lower the Outer Lands and take care of the Miasma. That's a tall order. I'm a bit concerned that Van hasn't shown himself, but so far, so good, I guess. Yes. Now, let's just see how things go. Yeah, we still- what's wrong, guy? Is something bothering you? Huh? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. Okay. Yeah, we really do need to take care of Van and his shenanigans. The center of trade, Chesedonia. My ship is on the other side of this city. <laughs> you gotta go around. Are those douchers still blocking the pathway? Okay, seriously, guys, this is just getting ridiculous at this point. 
Like, me having to go through these two doors is just redundant. But whatever, if you guys want to keep being douchers, then you do you, I guess. Bum 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 to field. Here we go. It was nice of Noel to park exactly where I parked last time when I was still in control of the Albior. Yulia City, here we come. It's time to, to hopefully put this peace thing into action. Do, 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 do. What's happening? How much time do I have? I still have plenty of time. We should be able to go through these talks. Then please add your signatures to this document. Good. With this, we conclude the formation of the peace treaty. Well, that was surprisingly fast. Wait just one minute. Guy! Sorry, Luke, this is important. Shut up for a minute. You made an agreement like this right after the Hod War. Can you keep it this time? This is different from Hod. That was to bring us prosperity through the score. That's why you destroyed Hod? There were Kimlaskans there, too. Like my mother. Guy! What are you doing? Do it. Do it. Do it. Your mother? Eugenie Cecile, you sent her to marry into House Guardios as a gesture of peace. Don't try to say you've forgotten. Guy, if you've come for revenge, then kill me. Do it! I'm the one who killed Countess Guardios. Do it. Because she refused to aid in the invasion of Malkuth. Father, you really... It was war. You do what you must in order to prevail. Just as we used your death to cause the Battle of Rugnica Plains. My mother at least knew what she was doing when she married into that family. But what possible reason was there to involve everyone else to destroy Hod? I may be the more worthy target for your blade, Gylardia Gallen. Your Majesty? Kim Laska didn't destroy Hod. It destroyed itself. No. We destroyed it. What are you talking about? Fomacry research was being conducted on Hod. Jade knows what I'm talking about. With war about to begin, we shut down all of our phonic experiments on Hod. There just wasn't time to deal with the Fomacry research. The previous emperor, my father, decided to destroy the Kimlaskan army and Hod with it. I heard a test subject was connected to a device that artificially generated a hyperresonance. So that's how Hod was destroyed. My father presented the event as Kim Laska's work to quash anti-war sentiment at home. That's horrible. I feel so sorry for the test subject. Yes, the record shows he was only 11 years old at the time. You may have known him, Guy. Me? He was the son of a knight who served House Guardios. I believe their family name was Fende. You can't mean Vendes Delca Musto Fende. You know him, Tyr? Uh, Van Deskel? Probably Van. If he's the son of Fende, she more than knows him. And so do you, Luke. What? It's Van. Van Grants. Van Destelka Musto Fende is his real name. I can totally understand changing that name. Who names their kid Van Destelka? So that's how he knew about animate replication, even though we sealed the information. Guy. Why don't you sheath your sword for now? It's beginning to sound like you'd have to kill almost everyone in this room. Time to get to work. Everyone but Jade, Luke, and Tyr. Let's go. I know that I didn't say to spare Annis. I also forgot about Natalia, but you know what? We'll make it work. You know what? Let's spare Peony, too. Just because he's awesome. I stopped wanting revenge a long time ago. I never thought Van's name would come up like this. Let's adjourn this meeting for now. I trust that suits everyone here. Yeah, sure, why not? Bum, 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 bum. I like that healing music. It's growing on me. Oh, hey, I'm in Tears' room. Did we all just bunk up in Tears' room together? Wait a minute, why didn't I save? Always save.
Also, I've only got like six more minutes. Let's see if I can go find a cutscene of some kind that'll take about five minutes, and then we'll wrap up for today. I've got so much gold, I don't even know what to do with it anymore. Still haven't been told to go to the absorption gate yet. Still need to... Oh, hey, what are these guys doing over here? Uh, I've done what I have for my country, for its people. No, for myself, perhaps. I was blinded by the score. Yeah, we need to get rid of that thing. People are weak and fragile things. If only I had the strength of will of Lady Guardios to defy even the score. I still want to... We still need to find the seventh phone stone just to see what it says, even though it's probably wrong at this point. But it would probably help us out. Hey, McGovern! There's still tons of problems left to handle. Yeah, tell me about it, man. Where's Peony, though? He's the one that really matters. What are we doing? I should have talked to Peony first. Both rulers have consented to entrust us with the operation to lower the outer lands. Regarding the matter of the miasma, I've sent a Yulia city engineer to Belkind. As for you, I want you to first stop the core's vibration. Then we should go to Sheridan and check how the preparations are coming along. So I need to go to Sheridan next. Uh, I guess I owe you an apology. This may have been before I was Emperor, but I have to share the blame. Though I guess anything I say will only sound like an excuse. Uh, I don't know who Sesamon is. At the time, I wasn't able to think of any solution to the res the, the, the destruction of Hot is entirely my fault. Unfortunate. Is that his dad? I don't know. Guy's revenge. I'm sorry about that little display. I just had to clear that up. Understandable. For my sake, for the sake of Mother and Mary, for all the people of Hod. War really is terrible. It's so unfair. Yes, even for the sake of one's homeland, it's unacceptable. Such is the nature of war. So Master Van suffered from the war, too. But what he's doing goes way beyond revenge. Yeah, I used to think he was planning revenge for the war, like me. But it looks like I was wrong. Even if the Hod War was his original impetus, impetus? It's just an excuse for him now. Yeah. As someone who suffered the same pain, I want to do everything I can to stop Van. We've just got to... We, we've got just a little farther to go. Yeah, let's get going to Sheridan. Before that, let's save. And then see if I can fight Sword Dancer. If I still can't fight Sword Dancer now, and it still says the Evil Presence is gone, then I'm going to have to reload that old save, fight and beat Sword Dancer, and then get back to this point. Which hopefully won't take me too long to do, because that's like six hours of gameplay. I'll be able to skip cutscenes and stuff, because I obviously won't care. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, as long as I've come to Yulia City, I thought I'd see what business opportunities there might be here. It's smart. So that way I'll have Sword Dancer 2 defeated, and we'll still get to fight his third one, and the third one will be on screen. I, I did fight two on screen and almost beat him. I'm down to like 3,000 HP. But uh, I'm not going to bother trying to record fighting him, since I, you've already seen the majority of the fight. You'll get to see the third fight, though. You basically saw everything the second fight has to offer, since I got him so low on HP. I don't know why I'm going towards Kessedonia. I need to go this way. Alright. What's happening? Why am I frozen? Game? Cannot proceed due to the sandstorm. What is all of this random shenanigans that is stopping the Albior from going places? It's really getting on my nerves. Mainly because it just blocks, like, a middle portion of the map where I'm like, Oh, hey, you've got to go slightly circular around this location, you stupid idiot. It's basically what I'm getting from it. Where does... This is in Gave. Where does Sword Dancer spawn? Over here? No, his spawn isn't in a forest. It's outside of a forest. It's over here somewhere. That might have been it right there. Is this it? Uh, it looks really small, like there's nothing here. The evil presence is gone still. Yeah. So... I guess I've got to go back and fight him again. I guess... I don't know. Everything I've seen online has been people saying... And in the comments is people saying, just don't go to the absorption gate and you can still fight him. But, I mean, obviously I can't. Like, the game won't let me. Stupid tree lag. So, I guess I have to, uh, reload the game and go back through that stuff. Let's go to Sheridan really fast, or at least get there. And then we'll wrap up for today, because I'm almost at an hour. 
Ah, uh, that's so lame that I gotta go through that all. I'll have plenty of time to do it, though, because I'm not gonna record this again for, like, another four or five days. I'm gonna be recording Xenoverse 2 starting tomorrow, and that'll be all I record for, like, four days straight. Probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday will all be Xenoverse 2, and then I think what'll happen is Saturday will be Xenoverse 2 and this. Or this... No. Or Xenoverse and Uranium. One of those things. I'll probably do eight vids on uh, Saturday is what I'm trying to get at. Don't hold me to that. It depends on how my uh, school week is going. But we'll see. We shall see. Go ahead and land this bad boy if the game will allow it. Game. Game. Game never allows me to land. Can I, can I land, please? Game. The whole Albior not landing thing is also really starting to get on my nerves. It's like, ever since we got the flying unit back, it's been a lot more like, oh, no, you don't get to land. Can I not go on land anymore? What the... What? Land the stupid ship, you idiot. Land... Why is it not landing? Whatever. You know what? Just freaking dock it if you're going to be so stupid about it. There. That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Okay, let's save the game and wrap up here. I'm going to go back through and make sure that I've got Sword Dancer, to, uh, Sword Dancer 2 killed. So that way, whenever we get to the point where I can fight Sword Dancer 3, we'll be able to do it. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Until then, farewell.